Hi guys, it's time for another Christmas DIY. This one is a hanging basket, hanging Christmas basket. Or is it? But as I always say, if I can do it, you can do it too. Guys, here's what we need to make uh, this project. You're gonna have a five and a half inch by six inch piece of one quarter inch thick balsa balsa wood it's the thin and then uh, a foot of burlap easy to find some jingle bells a couple of feet of ribbon of your choice actually some poinsettias some jute it, you're gonna need quite a bit of this and then your rope your hanging rope and these are just decorations of your choice but you're always going to want to use some garland kind of as a filler okay that's it let's see what we can do with all of this okay next step in our process the next step in our process is going to be gluing the burlap onto the wood okay and it kind of doesn't matter because this is kind of your underling but you go ahead and start by putting some hot glue on your wood nice little and then put your burlap down and then flip it you're going to pull it tight because that's going to make a big difference in getting your florals and your decorations in okay okay here we go okay Ooh, getting past this uh Hot glue is always loads of fun. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Get it tight, get it tight, guys, get it tight. It matters, it matters. Okay. Cut that later. Cut that little excess. You don't need it. No function for it. Okay, now your next step is going to be taking your jute and you're going to start wrapping it. Start at this end up here. Get a foundation, a good start for your jute. Okay. My scissors are so gluey. Okay, now once you get your foundation, Okay, you're gonna start wrapping. Pull it down that way. Okay, I wanted to show you this. We're not gonna wrap, of course, not gonna wrap the whole thing on camera, but I wanted to show you. You wrap it, get it up close, okay? This can go pretty quick, but it's gonna take a little bit. And after three, four, five, six, seven, whatever you're comfortable with, wraps, then on the side that you started, okay, and I'm comfortable putting several, but make sure it's tucked right under there, guys. Then you're gonna put a more hot glue. You can't just wrap it and leave it. You gotta hot glue it every few wraps okay or ever so many you know you can even go you can even go as many as 10 but you want to keep it keep your look together so okay sure it's right up next to the one before because it really matters in your look in your end look okay
pull it tight. Get you some more glue on there. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Wrap it. Okay. And you're gonna do that all the way down. Okay guys, just real quick. When you get down to the end, okay, it's no big deal. Just right at the very end. You're gonna hold that a while before you clip it. But I'll pull it around. Hold it, pull it kind of tight. See, that's how it looks on the end, okay? Rustic, rustic, rustic. I love the rustic look. There you go. Okay. Next step is going to be making our ribbon. So get your ribbon and your wire. And it's just going to be a double bow. Okay. A double loop. Okay, and it's just a pretty easy one. And besides that, this particular ribbon is the same on both sides, so you don't have to get all fancy smancy. Just take your, take your, so many ways you can do a bow, so many. It's kind of big, make it a little bit smaller. Don't have to do any twisting, guys. Not on this one. Not, well, not with this ribbon. If you have that type of ribbon that is, is one-sided, the pretty side is on one side, then you're gonna wanna do your twist technique, okay? But if not, you can just loop it like this. And this is such an easy, cheaty way to make a bow, okay? I think that's too big. I'm gonna make it smaller. Right on camera, I'm gonna make it smaller. Yes, not perfect. Imagine that. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's gonna be your top. Okay, and the bottom just a little bit. Okay. Okay. I think that's about right. Cut it. And of course, what we do, we're gonna take our pull it together here. Send it all together, make sure I'm on camera. Yeah. And just start wrapping your wire. This wire that'll last you for years. <laughs> Gosh, this wire goes a long ways. Wrapping, 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 wrap. Okay. Kind of set that to the side. Okay. And then, okay, like I said, this is the cheating way to make it. So all you're gonna need to do to get your bottom of the bow effect, okay, is just take, just like that, just bend it, make it in kind of like a A, and cut it, because once you get it on there, then you, um, you can diagonal your ribbon, okay? Okay, let's get back to our bow, guys. Okay, now, remember, this is our cheaty bow. We're going to take that little A-shaped and put a little piece of wire right through the top of that and just twist it. It's going to give you your singed look, okay? Twist, 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 twist. Okay, and then... You kind of got that. All right. Then, you, as you can see, you're gonna glue that down, glue that down, then glue that on top, and then cut your bow, okay? So here we go. Kind of at an angle there. Make sure, yeah. And then this. Hold it down, hold it down, hold it down. And add 
put your bow your centered hold it down for a good long time I'm getting the jingle bells here guys I'm holding this okay now I'm going to cut this diagonal okay yeah, you know kind of cringy it up there a little bit cut this cringy cringy okay trying to stay these I found at um, Dollar Tree and they've already got the ribbon on which is one wonderful okay and you can hang these any way you want you can let them hang down you put them up close whatever you want to do make it your own I love these ribbons. I'm going to just add a Just a little bit, <laughs> and I can hold it down. I'm gonna pull my bow up, pull my up a little bit to cover the middle of that. Okay, and then of course cut that excess. You don't need it. Okay, yay. Now, the foundation of this, for me anyway, is the poinsettias. And you want to get them in. And now you'll see the function of having that burlap and having the jute there. Because you can start, okay, sticking your, I always put your, your, your poinsettias are the, kind of the focus of your design here so place them kind of where you want them and three points at us should be enough I think anything more might look crowded but like I say make it your own And then the next thing you're gonna do, guys, once you get your poinsettias in, if I can get them in, get in there, get in there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to cut that off some more. It's perfect. <laughs> if I can get that in there. Okay, looking kind of scanty, but your next step is going to be starting to stick your, your garland in and fill it up with garland. And we'll do that off camera and come right back. Okay, bushy, bushy, bushy. We got all of the garland in here, okay? And I didn't use any, any hot glue. All right, that's the purpose of the jude and the um, burlap under there. Okay, but there you go. And so all that's left, let me just rearrange it. So all that's left to do on this is, of course, adding your embellishments, okay, which entail the little balls that we got from Dollar Tree and we cut them up and then the little cranberries. And of course, you just, this is, you're gonna use your hot glue. And just take and start decorating to your taste, okay? I'm gonna set this up with this. 
and just start placing them randomly until you get the, the look that you want to achieve. Okay. Whatever that is, but it's on you. It's up to you. And we'll get that going and we'll come back for the rope placement. Okay, this is how it looks in the front now that you've added your embellishments, you got everything in place, right? So the only thing left is to hang. Put your, your, what you, your device you're gonna use for hanging. And uh, as always, with this thicker rope, just separate the three, find out where you're gonna put it, which is usually just right there in the corner. Here we go with the hot glue. <laughs> My favorite part. And oh goodness. Let that cool a bit. My poor scissors have seen better days. <laughs> after so long though. Ooh, after it cools down a little. And you don't want to just, uh, with your hot glue, with your no the novices, you don't want to just put it on there. And you want to push it. That's what gives it the <clears throat> stay in power, okay? Open, open, open. And, ooh, ooh. All right, now, let's turn it around. See what we got. How does that look, guys? What do you think? I think it's so pretty. Look what you made. You are so good. All right. Until next time. See you later.